Hi Pisces, welcome to my channel. This is a weekly love tarot reading session for you Pisces. I hope you are well. I hope you're fine and safe and doing good. Okay. This reading for today is for the Pisces friends out there. Pisces, thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for coming back. Thanks for being here today. Yes, viewers, if you haven't clicked the bell, click the bell and click subscribe. This is a love reading for the Pisces friends out there. What can I get for Pisces, please? What is the message in love, relationship, dating, get it to know? This is for you, Pisces, okay? In today's reading, Pisces, we will be looking at the past situation, past energy. We will be tapping into the current energies, who's coming towards you, what are their feelings towards you, what they think about you. We will be looking at the immediate future, predictive outcome and advice. And depending on the message for today, Pisces, I will let you know if there's a need to extend the reading, okay? So this is for Pisces. What is the message for Pisces? And of course, if you would like to further connect with me, I would encourage you to check out the description box below. In the description box below, you'll see the details of the private reading, extended reading, and our merchandise. We are currently promoting the Gratitude Journal. This is a very special uh a uh, simple and special gratitude journal. It's a hundred days of gratitude journal. It's an introduction to journaling. It has four simple mindfulness question or prompt that you can do whenever you want to. It's undated. It is gonna ask you. It's gonna ask you what are you grateful for in the morning or any time of the day, depending on when, you know, when do you wanna, what time do you start it, and then what do you wanna do, what do you wanna manifest. And then the list, three amazing things that happened for you today to acknowledge your success, to celebrate wins. And then the last question, mindfulness prompt is how do you feel right this moment? So this is like the, the closing part or the reflection part, okay? So this is really good during pandemic, you know? We've decided to create this because instead of like when you feel like being alone and not sharing those you know, those repressed feelings, you can actually journal it. So this is an introduction to journaling. This is free shipping worldwide. It comes with a Hello Sunshine daily planner as a perks to see the terms and condition, head to the website, okay? So that's a, that's me. Let's see and what the, let's go back to the reading. Okay, let me just shuffle my cards again. Ground my energy. Let me ground my energy and let's go back to your reading, Pisces, but it's a message for you. Okay, all right. Coming in the past, Pisces, is you've got the Four of Pentacles, the Chariot card, and the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. You could be dealing with a Cancer, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. I feel like there was a rush decision that you did or someone did. You know, this is a release. It was a very impulsive decision. A very impulsive decision, an impulsive thoughts. It could be a very striking message, um, but it was very impulsive. It was immature to say that or to do that. It was premature to break up and you did or they did. Something was done impulsively and clumsily. Cum clumsy. It was, is, it was very clumsy of you or them to do this or to do that. Um, I feel like this chariot card in upright position, because you guys are impulsive or immature or... I'd say it was a premature decision. It has now resulted to a Ten of Pentacles regret. Or it's more of you have exit before the finish line. Something tells me that it, it wasn't supposed to end. But it ended because of this impulsive decision making. Okay? Yeah, the moon card in reverse. I feel like you're very connected with this person. The feelings is mutual. Um, the chart card clarified the page of wands. It's possible that maybe you have not, because page of wands is not getting a good news. It's also possible that maybe in the process of getting to know or um, reconciliation, or maybe you are in a relationship, maybe just because they didn't give you time or you didn't give them time. It's petty. You know, like I, I'm, I'm getting like it was so petty of someone to just declare a breakup or. It was something that there was some sort of misunderstanding. For some of you, it could be bigger than just a simple misunderstanding. But instead of fixing it, someone was just so, you know, chariot card, impulsively throw everything away. That It has resulted for the marriage, the relationship, or the connection to break out. 
break out or break up or disconnected or disentangled you know like it's what it was abrupt yeah the hidden energy is the two of cups it means that there is so much love and wanting to be together however the feelings of you and this person or your connection your feelings for your feelings with one another it was disregarded because of an impulsive decision it was impulsive now in the current energy you've got the queen of wands in reverse the devil card in upright position the king of wands wow you're in different side like this is you this is your person so toxic okay like you have not forgiven forgotten you and your person you're both that you're, you're the queen they're the king it's both wands but it's in reverse you're both resenting one another. This is a reading where the more you hate, the more you love. Yeah. The more you hate, the more you love. If you hate your person, they hate you too. If you think of this person this way, they think of you that way. So you guys are connected, but in a toxic level. This is you. This is your person. You're connected, but it's toxic. You know, it's very uneasy. If, if it's not that... If it's not, if, if you aren't this complicated, if you're not in this complicated situation, then I'd say you guys are resenting. You guys love each other, but you resent. Like you, you, you guys has a lot of, like as simple as I'm mad. I mean, I still love you. I still have feelings for you, but I'm mad at you. So I'm not going to talk to you. So your person and yourself, you're both equally have the same feelings. The low vibe energy. You're you're transmitting a low vibe energy. And they're acknowledging that low vibe energy. And as a result, devil card. Toxic. Um, you guys both mutually have run out of patience. Look at that. Look at how small the candle is. But you're still connected. Yep, you might not know it. But you guys are energetically connected. You're still manifesting them in not a good way. Like you're in the background, you're probably hating them. I don't want to call you. I don't want to text you. I don't want to think about you. Well, you are still thinking about them. You're just giving them a hate, hate energy. And that's vice versa. Both of you. Okay? It's more of, it's so complicated that the low vibe energy, it's in the surface, not the good vibe. Um, in the immediate future, predictive outcome and advice, you will come to a point you will be tired, you know, you Pisces, you're very kind hearted, you cannot stay so mad with one person. And five of wands, I feel like you will let go of this anger, you will let go of this fear, you will let go of this low vibe energy, you know, um, what you cannot let go is your feelings towards your person, because the hangman is in upright position, you will let go I feel like you and your person, you can you can hate each other. You can say this and that and ignore them. And you can, I don't know, like point towards your person. But that will end. The low vibe energy, it doesn't stay. It always go because it's just artificial. The natural energy, the natural love, the natural feelings will always will always come back. The last card in your immediate future is the Queen of Cups. This is unconditional. You might have fought this much, but at the end, love your feelings for one another. It will resurface. And that loving energy between the two of you, it will pull you together again. Yes, there is a together again. And I'm seeing you. And your person getting the getting drained. You, especially you. You are feeling drained about not liking them, about hating them. It's so heavy for you, for your sign. It's too heavy. You will release that. However, you release that. Um, you release that. But you cannot release. When you release that, what's left of you is a queen of cups. Unconditional love. Um, in the immediate future... There is a potential, a very strong potential that once you're over with not liking each other, you'll be drawn back to one another. 
Two of Cups, Queen of Cups. So I'm going to leave you this question. Once you are connecting again, once you are reconciling again, once your relationship is okay, what will you do to make it work this time? Because definitely you've learned from this past, the current. And if you want to secure your future, you've got to apply that learning. Okay? So I'm still seeing your past person to be around in your immediate future. And um, I'm seeing them very, very excited to, you know, to go back to you, to update you that let's not fight. Let's just have love. Queen of Cups, upright position. So Pisces, take it easy. And um, this is your reading. Thank you for your time. Thanks for being here. Check out the merch. Check out the description box. Um, go to the website. Any details that you need from the team for me. Um, it's all in there. And I'll see you soon, guys. Bye-bye.